Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about iOS 12.2 and see what features that come with it. So let's get started. Apple released iOS 12.2, uh, that's an update for the iOS operating system that was yesterday uh, during the event. They released new features as well. So I'm going to be covering only the most important features that they uh, talked about. That was the Apple TV Plus, Apple News Plus, Apple Arcade, and Apple Card. So let me start with the Apple TV Plus. With the Apple TV Plus, you get a new subscription service for... Uh, movies, series, just like Netflix. And also they release, as I said, Apple News Plus. That's going to be a subscription service as well. So you pay like $9.99 a month and you get access to uh, a lot of magazines, a lot of um, newspapers. Apple Arcade, that's going to be gaming services. As I said, you can also get early access to some of the games. The Apple Card, Apple Card is like, it's a new credit card service. That's the most important service to be honest so basically you apply for the apple card and uh, you'll be able to use it through the uh, apple wallet and also you can receive i mean they will send you a card like an um, actual card uh, with your name printed uh, on the card uh, it's it's pretty good to be honest i mean what i like about it is the cashback service so you get three percent cashback if you uh, use a card to pay for products at apple store you get 2% if you use the Apple Wallet and you get 1% if you use their card. The iOS 12.2 support all these features and it does support the uh, AirPod 2, I'm going to call it the uh, upgraded version of the AirPod. So if you want to get the iOS 12.2, all what you need to do is you go to settings and then you swipe a little bit down, you go to general and then software update. Here you're going to get a notification saying that there's a new operating system, new uh, update for the operating system and that's going to be iOS 12.2. You just click on it and then wait for it to download. That's going to be around, if you have the iPhone 10, that's going to be around like 850 megabyte. But if you have the iPhone X Max or XS Max, that's going to be around like 1.85 gigabytes. Once the operating system has been downloaded, then all what you need to do is click on install now. That's going to appear in this area. You click on it, then the, uh, the operating system will get installed on your phone. The phone will switch off and switch on back again. What I like about the software is how smooth and fluid it is. If we check the Geekbench score, iOS 12.1.2, I'm just going to compare it very quick. So if we go to history, CPU, as you can see today, uh, I've done it. I've got 4,277 for the single core and I've got 10,798 for the multi-core. That's pretty good, actually. That's the iPhone 10. That's my main device. I'm not using the X S Max anymore because of the display. It's it's a huge. So yeah, it's a, it's a pretty good upgrade. And I highly recommend for everyone who is not looking for jailbreaking his phone to upgrade and get the latest and greatest features from Apple. One of the new features that we get with this update is four new emojis. So as you can see, we've got the giraffe in here. Shark as well. So yeah, that's that's pretty nice. We've got the owl. And the last one is the warthog. So that's four new emojis. That's one of the features that they've added. And also they released um, a new security update. I'm going to call it for the Safari. So if you're in a secure website, as all we know, we've got the uh, lock sign in here. It means that the website is secure. But if we're in a, like I'm going to call it, not a dodgy website, but like not very secure website, you're going to see in here, instead of the lock icon, you're going to see not secure. So that's going to uh, give you an indication what kind of security level we've got with uh, those kind of websites. And then you, the new wallet got a new design as well. As you can see, we've got the, uh, the cash card in here. That's going to give us an indication like what kind of products that we are buying. Um, and also it's going to give us some information about the cashback that we're going to get from Apple credit card. Because as I said, Apple will release the Apple credit card or Apple card. So every time you get a cashback, that's going to appear here in the cashback uh, card. So you're going to get actual cash. You're not going to get like points or some kind of like reward from the credit card companies that we usually get. So all in all, it's a very important update, to be honest. I mean, I as I said, like I highly recommend that you go ahead and uh, upgrade to 12.2. To and um, as I said, we're going to compare the benchmark from the iOS 12.2 and iOS 12.1.2. So... We've got, as I said, 10,798, but if we go back, 
to the uh, IS 12.1.4, as you can see, 10,629. So that's that's like a little bit faster than the iOS 12.1.4 and um, you can feel that once you upgrade your phone like how smooth um, opening and closing the apps uh, multitasking as well it's um, yeah it's a pretty solid upgrade that's it guys that was everything regarding the iOS 12.2 so if you like this video please like share and subscribe until the next video peace